Hello, today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to fix up images. Here I've googled that is picture of uh, 50 cents and let's get started. Well, first of all, I would like to get rid of all these patches, spots, maybe a few wrinkles, not too many, otherwise, it'll look too much of editing. Let's get this tool. This is a spot healing brush tool, one of the best, well, my favorite tools. Easy to remove any of that. Look, simple as one click. You can zoom in and zoom out with the bracket button. I will tell you that in the notes, annotations. Um, just look around for where places you think you should remove certain things. Sometimes you don't want to do the edit you've done, it might not look good. Just Control Z or Command Z, undo it. Um, yeah, I can get rid of these lines if I want to. Simple. That's all it takes. It's magic. Um, let's keep going till we're done. So here, if I've done that, that would look. That won't look right as everyone has those lines it's normal so i'd undo that um you could probably do this but it won't look like him normal you know as everyone knows it has got thick lines necklines you could get rid of necklines but these stuff i'll show you they won't show as much after I use this tool just to get rid of the simple things rather than getting rid of everything. Okay, now what we do is zoom out and uh, select a brush. I've chose the soft brush. Hardness is set to zero size you can adjust it or you can just use the bracket to increase and decrease um, as you can see and um, what I do I'll s hit this one right here now it's in selecting mode well whatever I choose will be get selected or won't get selected deselected then we hit select and inverse um let's select all the places that shows his skin as we're gonna apply some blur and uh, give it a better a smoother look to his skin just try to select everything if you do go like that accidentally just select the wrong place so you can just choose a uh, rubber and rub it out so sometimes it's easy to just go through everything and rub, rub it out at one time I'd like to choose all of these this selection is not very sensitive really sometimes I select everything while I'm trying to do this hit the standard button again now you see it's selected but really it's the outskirt that has been selected so what we do select inverse and then you can hit duplicate layer now we've duplicated the layer what will we do uh, usually I use a duplicated layer to, to sort of maybe I do the, the, the copied layer too much and then I'll go over it I'll show you how go to filter blur surface blur and uh, you could choose to the amount you want um, usually there's not a, a pro there's not a correct uh, amount it's just what you can see if your photo size is huge it's going to be different if it's small it's going to be different um, on this photo I'll pick around 15 to 30 let's go about 35 15 to 35 to add it up to the exact numbers 
Now if you see what it's done, but it's looking too much of the smoothness. But what we could do is the opacity to bring down a little bit to the natural to keep a more natural but healthy look. Um, also could edit control shift and X. Now what I could do before we do that, let's merge these two layers and duplicate it again by Ctrl and J or Command J, depends what system you're using. Hit Ctrl Shift and X. Command Shift to X. I'm using a PC as you know. Sometimes you wanna um, adjust the sh shapes. Um, I could mess around with his ear a bit. He's got a funny looking ear. Um, I can always mess about with his mouth, teeth, whatever it is. Like here. Um, let's look back. This was ha this how he was. This is what we turned him into. Um. There's a few more things we could do. There's a lot of more things if we really go on. But yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time. I usually use the burn tool. The burn tool. If you want to select a different um, tool, what you gotta do is on that tool, hold the mouse and then select once it drops out. What this does, the burn tool, it actually gives you a dark, darker look and sometimes I need to look do as much as you want then after you can play about with it like I said in Photoshop there's not a correct amount of anything you play around according to your image or to what your to what you want What I'm going to do now is drop down the opacity, so this I was. Okay, see here, we didn't duplicate the layer, the previous layer, so what we could do is just undo some, um, duplicate layer. Duplicate a single one. And then probably merge it to get 100%. Let's merge all of them actually. And get fresh new layers. I can start the burn tool. Sometimes you can even drop the exposure. And you don't have to duplicate layers. See, everyone works how they want, really. Okay, what we could do is use the dodge tool for his eyes. Doing this quickly, anyways, I'm rushing it. <laughs> I 
white on maybe use the burn tool where I want to get this bit back in to the actual colors um, what I use sometimes I can also use the um, not this tool use the blur tool I could use it for where he's got just to make it look neater you don't want to do too much there's another way of getting rid of these flashlights it's usually what I do, I just bring a new layer choose a colour use a colour selector use a colour that is close to it let's zoom in a colour that uh, let's see this is good should be good and choose a brush soft brush now what that don't look real so what we do drop the opacity and play about until it just disappears so voila that looks all right um could do that here again if you want to do it with his didn't look too good let's try a different colour let's try it here 